name is Nath. I have an Etsy shop with the name Sewing Panda Patterns where I sell digital sewing patterns. I'll leave the link in the description box. Please do check. Once you purchase, you will get the files to your email ID and also you can find them Etsy order. You will get A0, letter, A4 files along with readme file. In that, you will have all the information, printing, cutting and all. For this, we need pattern pieces. And here I'm using satin and twill fabric. Then we need a zipper and elastic. Now join the center front bodice panel to the front side panels with the right sides together by matching notches. Then stitch it with a 1cm seam allowance. And also repeat the same thing with the lining. Next trim the excess fabric with pinking scissors and give a good press. Then join both main fabric and lining at the top with right sides together. Then stitch it with 1 cm seam allowance. Now trim the fabric and give a top stitch on the lining. Next, attach the main fabric to the lining all over so that it doesn't move while stitching. As you can see, I have trimmed the raw edges with the pinking scissors. Now I'm going to repeat the same thing with the back panels as I have finished the front bodies. So join the center back panels to the back side panels with the right sides together by matching notches. Then stitch it with 1cm seam allowance. And also trace the zipper mark on the fabric from the pattern to avoid confusion which side to attach the zipper since the center back panel like a rectangle shape. Repeat the same thing with the lining. Trim the excess fabric and give a good press. Next, attach the main fabric to the lining at top with the right sides together. Then stitch it with 1 cm seam allowance.
trim the fabric and give a top stitch on the lining. Next attach both main fabric and lining together so that it doesn't move while stitching. Trim the raw edges with the pinking scissors. Now attach the front and back at side seam and stitch it with a 1.5 cm seam allowance. Then give a good press. As you can see, I have overlocked the raw edges. You can use zigzag stitch if you don't have a searcher. Next, coming to the sleeve, I have already overlocked the raw edges. Now I'm going to make a channel to insert the elastic. So fold the fabric with a 1 cm and stitch it. Now insert the elastic, here I am using loop turner. Secure the elastic with the pins, then stitch it. Now stitch the sleeve sides with the 1.5 cm seam allowance. Next attach the sleeves to the bodies with right sides together by matching side seams with 1 cm seam allowance.
Now press the channel with a 1 cm then stitch it. Now insert the elastic from here. Secure the elastic with the pins. Now secure the elastic with a few stitches. Now the bodice is done. Coming to the skirt, as you can see I have already overlocked the raw edges. Now I am going to stitch two rows with large stitch length to make gathers a top. Next fold the skirt in half and make mark or notch. Then at the center back leave 1.5 cm seam allowance to attach the zipper. And fold it again and make marks. Do the same thing with the bodies. 
This technique helps you to distribute the gathers evenly. Now pull the thread and make gathers to match the body's width. Next attach the skirt to the bodies by matching notches. Then stitch it with 1cm seam allowance. Then give a good press. Next I'm going to attach the zipper with a zipper footer. Here I'm using 16 inches invisible zipper but you can use 12 inches. Now trim the zipper ends and fold it, then secure it with a few hand stitches. Now stitch the center back with 1.5 cm seam allowance. Now the last step, fold the hem around quarter inch and stitch it. If you don't have serger, you can fold it twice with a half centimeter, then stitch the hem. I hope you like the video and the pattern. Please give your feedback on my Etsy store. Thank you.